I gotta catch some shoes. Let's uh, let's see her reaction. You want a knife? Uh. <laughs> open yeah. it! Open it up! There she goes and rips the box. <laughs> like I've never opened the box before. Oh, there it is. So? Holy shit! Are those the ones you wanted? Yeah, look at them. So do you know much about these shoes? I know nothing. You just know that you like them? I just know that everyone in Montreal wears them and that they look sick. So those are actually a reissue. Those were originally made in 1989. Um, they're actually a, a basketball shoe. Holy uh, shit, I'm a basketball player. Yeah. But uh, they didn't really shine too bright back then because they were overshadowed by like the uh, the Nikes and whatnot. So they weren't as popular. But now seeing as, you know, we're all nostalgic and we like to bring back old shoes, they've been uh, reissued. And they actually, funny enough, I watched a video about this. Um, they didn't even have like the like the designs and the, and the molds to remake them. They had to go base off of them? just pictures. Yeah, New Balance didn't even have them, which is kind of funny. Try them on. That's okay, it looks good actually. Right? The tuck lace, because those, so tongue, those tongues look cool. The tongues. Ah, 50s. Basic white, Whoa. beautiful women wear these shoes. My right foot <laughs> is definitely bigger than my left foot. Holy shit. Really? It's more yeah. snug? Sweet. Holy shit, those are so cool. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I thought it'd be fun to go over what's in my skate bag. I bring this bag with me on literally every session that I go on. I'm kind of like a, a very organized uh, person when it comes to going out and having like everything that I need for the day. I thought it'd be cool to like kind of go over everything that I bring uh, on a session. So let's start. Let's open up this front pocket here. Microphone. Uh, I use this to film my videos. You can see the mic here. Uh, it does an okay job. It's kind of a cheap Amazon thing, but it's cool because it like plugs into the bottom of my phone and uh, it's wireless, which is, uh, which is fun. Um, yeah, comment below if you guys have been enjoying the videos um, mic'd up. It's kind of fun. I feel like it's like a little more interactive. I can kind of connect more with you guys and it almost feels like you're with me on the session, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else is in the front, front pocket? Easy accessible pocket is here. A snack. Uh, right now I got a Nutrigain bar. Uh, usually I'll pack like a bar, an apple, and like a sandwich on a session, but seeing as it's kind of the evening and I've already had a decent amount of food today, I'll just have a bar and some liquids as well. I'll go over that in a second. So front pocket, I keep a mask. We don't really need these anymore, eh? Glasses, sunglasses. Uh, this is usually when I'm biking. I don't wear sunglasses when I skate. An extra hair elastic in case uh, mine breaks because sometimes they break. I have a lot of hair and sometimes hair elastics break. Got a lighter in here, car keys, and uh, a uh, hairpin, which I actually use to poke the holes in the bottom of uh, grip when I set up a new board. I actually have chopsticks as well, but this is uh, what I use in a pinch. So next I have in this front pocket here, I've got a few things going on here. I have uh, uh, an extra set of hardware in case uh, homies, you know, lose hardware or if I lose some hardware, it's good to have some hardware. An extra pair of uh, indie bushings. Um, I swapped mine out maybe a couple weeks ago for some new ones and I just kind of kept the old ones in here. I think it's good to have, you know, like case mine break or the homie needs some bushings. A silver tool with like the ratchet kind of thingy makes for doing boards a lot quicker. And then I also have this kind of like flip key tool. Honestly, I've had this tool since I was like, I want to say like 15 or something. I've had this for years and it's actually a snowboard tool. It's kind of nice because it like fits in your snow pants real easy. But I use that for hardware with a Phillips head and it actually has a measuring tape too, which is kind of convenient if you're wanting to uh, measure uh, yeah, your skateboard dimension. That's kind of fun. And I also have uh, some lubricant here for uh, bearings. So that's kind of everything that's in my uh, front bigger pocket. Also got a bunch of garbage in here from setting up a board. I just set up this uh, iShod Wear uh, 838 board. I'll put the card up here if you guys want to go check out that video. In this pocket here, I have uh, a chopstick, a single chopstick. <laughs> uh, I put that in there, same thing, to poke holes. Put it in there because I actually forgot I had the hairpin, but today I use this for the, for the board. What else do I have in here? That guy has so many pockets. I don't know about you guys, but I love bags with like heaps of pockets. Uh, I've got a medical kit. You never know when you're gonna need this. Uh, better to be safe than sorry. Um, I think I've only had to use it once, knock on wood. I won't have to use that again. 
Uh, so next I have this big uh, thermos of cold water. This is great, especially in the summer because it holds like, I think one and a half liters of water and it stays cold all day, which is great. I also have another liter. So usually I'm carrying about like two and a half liters of water on me. And I also have another bottle, which I put this like recovery in it. So it's like a powder with like BCAAs, L-glutamine, creatine, electrolyte, vitamin C. It's just like this mix of uh, deliciousness, uh, but it actually uh, really helps with uh, muscle recovery and uh, hydration, which is really important, especially with how much I skate. This uh, is kind of like a nice treat after my session and uh, it helps me recover quicker. Uh, let's go into the side pockets here. I forgot about that. So this pocket has um, an old razor. Well, Got to get that out of there. Uh, extra shoelaces. If ever you catch me at the skate park and you ripped your laces, I'll usually always have a pair of extra laces because I'm just that guy who's got backups of everything for the homies. <laughs> So yeah, extra laces in this pocket. And uh, two more things, two more very important things. This right here is uh, Slips Wax. If you guys have never heard of them, uh, dope company here in Canada, Ontario. They make uh, these funky, cool wax molds and uh, you can buy wax directly from them on Instagram. So yeah, check them out if you want to. I'll put the, the link in the description of uh, Slips Wax if you want to check them out. Last but not least is this right here. This tripod here fits in my bag. I kind of take it apart in two parts and it all fits. So yeah, that's everything that's in my skate bag, uh, apart from, uh, like I said, a sandwich and an apple. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to uh, kind of let you guys know what I bring along with me in, in my skate bag. Uh, so yeah, if ever you catch me on the session, you need uh, some extra hardware or laces because you've lost one or they broke, let me know. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys bring on your session. Because I have some homies out there who literally bring absolutely nothing my buddy Sammy, if you're watching, you don't even bring water on a session. To me, it's insanity, but I don't know. I'm OCD like that, so I like to have everything that I need. Uh, I like to prepare for the future. Um, anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll catch you in another video. Peace.